Hi everyone, Jen here. Today I will be trying on, wear test, and reviewing the new Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Alright, so here's what you need to know about this new Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. First of all, it retails for 20 US dollars and 25 Canadian dollars. I love the packaging of this foundation. It comes in a matte container and it has a pump, which is amazing. We always appreciate a foundation that comes with a pump. <laughs> Sephora claims that this foundation has a buildable coverage. It's a medium coverage foundation with a natural finish that is long wearing. It hydrates the skin, it has a anti-pollution formula, and apparently it can last up to 12 hours. I'm not gonna wear it for 12 hours, but definitely I will be wearing it for some time today. And what you need to know is that I have a, an extreme oily skin. I think it's gonna be the best test for this foundation. Okay, so first thing I wanna do, like I said, my face is very oily. I wanna prep it the best I can. First thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with a primer spray. I'm using the Scandinavia one. Next, what I'm gonna do is uh, prepare my small lines i'm gonna use the mac paint pot in pinterly a trick i learned from savannah silver next i want to set my face with a translucent powder i will be using the laura mercier translucent powder Okay, so definitely I will be needing a lot of coverage where I placed the MAC paint pot because it can show through the foundation. Now my skin is prepped, it's time to test it. And for reference, the shade I have is 44Y. So let's go in with a pump first. I thought it was going to be more liquidy than that, but... It's not. What I want to do is on one side, I will be using a damp beauty sponge and on the other side, I will be using a foundation brush. I don't know if it's because I went in with too much on this side, but I need a second pump. Uh, I really wanted to go with only one pump. I love how it feels when you touch it with your hands. It feels creamy. On this side of the face, I'm gonna go in with the brush. It did cover the MAC paint pot. just here i'm impressed and the way this is looking skin like the match is amazing it comes in 50 shades which is amazing anyone can find these shades well so far so good i'm impressed with the coverage look it did hide a little bit my dark spots okay now um let's go in with the sponge on the other side this side here less coverage we can still see the mac paint pot it's because um of course the sponge will absorb more product than the brush will so I'm gonna go over it until hmm. and of course I'm missing some here okay just gonna go with a small bump like on the other side I 
I am impressed. Let's take a moment here. I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling about this. It is lightweight. Right now, I feel like I don't have anything sitting on my face. And it is mattifying and it's looking like skin, definitely. I wish we could get a close up so you could see, but you can still see a little bit of my imperfection. I don't wanna get too hyped because we need to, to wear test it. Um, but for now, here there's less coverage because of the sponge, like I said. I see my dark spots more than on this side, but nothing too crazy, you know? I don't know if I wanna go with a second layer because I really love the way I look right now. Is this really the best skin ever foundation? Is it the best? The latest foundation I tried on my channel was the KVD True Portrait Shake Foundation. And I was shook by this foundation. But today, for now, this one is better for me, for now. I want to do the rest of my face with you so you know what kind of products I used and how it's gonna hold up all together. To conceal my face, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me in 30 Cafe. I'm blending this out using my sponge. To brighten this up a little, I will be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. To contour, I'm going in first with my I Am Magic Stick Foundation by Juvia's Place in the shade Zambia. And on top of it, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Mahogany. To set under my eyes, I'm going in again with my Laura Mercier. To set my contoured areas, I will be using uh, the Glamour Bronze by Morphe and this is in the shade Leader. To set my face, I want to use my e.l.f. Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. Okay, we are back. Now it's time for the wear test. Right now, it is currently 3, 8 p.m. This is the time. It's 24 hour time. So I'm going to go do my stuff and then I'll be back. But... <laughs> I'm loving the way this is looking so far. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. I did my meal prep for the week. I was FaceTiming and right now it is 8 
22. I had this foundation on my skin for over five hours. Now, of course, I'm looking oily. That's my skin. But I didn't touch up. I didn't touch up at all. So I want to get close so you can see a little and I will tell you what I notice in my face and things like that. All right. First thing I can notice is that the foundation has a wear off from my nose. And this tea, this is totally normal. This happens with any foundation I use. It's the first place where the foundation disappear. My cheek are very shiny right now, but the foundation is still here and it hasn't cracked. Some foundation with all the oils that gets in your skin, the foundation actually separates. But this hasn't happened and I think it's looking pretty good. Um, What else? My forehead though. Usually it's looking like my cheeks. It's looking pretty decent. Let's see what happens if I touch up. I have a piece of tissue here and I'm gonna go over where it's oily. I'm just tapping like I would usually do when I need to touch up. If you're using tissue, don't press too hard on your skin because the the details of the tissue is gonna stay on your face. Around my nose here, it has separated a little, but nothing too crazy. So this is my face right now. And I think I look pretty good. Bronzer is still here. What are your thoughts? Let's say you want to do more than blotting. Let's go ahead and I'm going to use my setting powder, Dollar Ramercy. I'm not going to touch up my forehead because I think it's looking pretty and good. All right, so this is how we're looking with a little bit of touch up. I'm looking pretty, pretty good. Now let's review this product. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but I think it's so good to know is that the glass, the packaging is made up of 30% recycled glass. First thing I would like to give a big thumbs up to is the shade range. 50 shades? It's a lot. And definitely anyone can find a shade depending on the skin undertone, which is amazing. There's a lot of options. Second of all, the price is, it is a good price. 20 US dollars, 25 Canadian dollars. It is an affordable foundation. Now, first thing that this foundation claims is that it's a medium coverage. And I agree on that. I went in with a layer of foundation and I was pretty satisfied and my dark spots were semi covered. I had deep, deep dark spots here and we can barely see them. Um, this one here is very big, forget it. But here I have a couple of dark spots that you cannot see so much. So big kudos for that. And the natural finish, you already know the natural finish if there's something about this foundation that i need to put out there is the natural finish this foundation feels extremely lightweight i couldn't feel it on my face and and my face looked like my skin without no makeup lastly it says to be a long wearing up to 12 hours unfortunately i didn't have the chance to wear it for 12 hours but almost half of the time and it's looking pretty decent i don't know how my face would look like six more hours after that i think probably my forehead would get oily at this point but definitely over five hours i did it was pretty decent especially when you get the chance to touch up for the shade range for the price for its finish i think it's totally worth it it's totally worth it and i hope a lot of people are gonna give a chance to this foundation especially oily skin girl you see you see me and it do, it's doing great so i'm just gonna see if it is recommended for dry skin hold on 
it's gonna be dry skin friendly because it claims to hydrate the skin because there's hyaluronic acid in there and uh, and as well as red I don't know how to pronounce that word in English um, I'm gonna put it in the screen there's red algae extract which also hydrates the skin if you remember when I first applied the foundation on my face it did not look dewy or hydrating which is very interesting so you can get a matte finish but you still get the benefits of dehydration well that's all I have to say today about this foundation I think if you were thinking about giving it a try try it if you think you're gonna try it comment down below let me know if you did give it a try already let me know down below what are your thoughts <laughs> I would like to know if you enjoyed this video please uh, give it a big thumbs up and if you're not part of my family yet subscribe and join the squad <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you all on my next one